Well, welcome back to Crazy Bill's Garage. And I was thinking, man, what new filter should I take apart today? Actually, I was thinking of doing a uh, some sort of a comparisons and stuff like that, but I got down to it and I was like, huh, I don't have any oil filters here right now that I can do comparisons on. I got them all at home. So I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna go through some filters that were sent to me recently. And I was like, oh, I got this uh, Auto Extra here. And uh, it's technically a 618-51-516, or as we can see here, a PH3600 or an LF134 or any of these other numbers that are supposedly printed on here. But we have this Auto Extra here. So, uh, I'm going to go with this. Sea product for country of origin. Well, I will, because I do believe auto extras get built in uh, different parts of, of the world. And this one, of course, oh, this one is made in the USA. So, isn't that nice? That is a nice filter. Give a little tilt there. I always have a tilt to my filters, my I believe, but uh, yeah, it says right there, made in the USA. So, who is actually making this auto extra? Because a, a couple of these, well, it kind of looks like a purulator bottom, doesn't it? But a lot of these actually get made in China, these auto extras. So, I'm going to cut this one apart, and we're going to see if this technically is a purulator. Or whatever. Could be a Wix, which is technically a purulator. So, let me get her cut open. We'll take a look at her. And, uh, yeah. Well, actually, before that, let me get a full weight. Weight on that filter there. So, I got my new scale here. You know, my new scale that I've, that I got. How do you turn this thing on? There we go. It says hello. And there we go. Can you see the number? I don't know if you can. I'll tell you what it is. So this filter weighs 278.3 grams. And so that's uh, not too bad of a filter. This would fit, uh, well, Jeep products for sure. So I know this fits Jeep products. I should have saved that for my sister's uh, Liberty, but I always put a Baldwin on that uh, uh, Jeep. I can get them pretty cheap for my wife's work. So I always pick up a bald one for it. But this one, Auto Extra, I said, ah, let me take another look at Auto Extra. It's been a while since I looked at them, so I'll get her cut open here. Well, first, see how good this seal is. She's slippery. That's not bad. Kind of just your standard rubber. And it weighs 7.5 grams. So, I'll get her cut open. We'll take a look at her. Well, that cut apart a lot easier than I thought it was going to. That was uh, not too many turns. Maybe five, six turns on the cutter. And she kind of just cut right open. So, I'm guessing pretty thin metal on these. But, what do we got here? We got definitely a rubber anti-drain back. Well, it's good up to a point, you know. And here's the base plate. And we got three threads. Base plate, yeah, it's pretty good weight. Most base plates are. Some are thinner than others. This one's probably, you know, wouldn't judge it maybe. Uh, I don't know. I can't say. I, I'm not good at judging thicknesses of stuff. I'm just not. But. Um, I am going to check the canister to see how thick it was, since it did feel quite thin. What's this base plate weigh? You see, that base plate weighs 107, so that's pretty chunky. So here we go. We got the 7.7 uh, pounds, grams, grams. <laughs> and this thing weighs uh, not very much. That is... Wow, 57.6 grams. It doesn't... Man, it's 
surely does not feel that heavy. And 93.9, usually, yeah, wow. But yeah, not very thick for uh, uh, the canister. So I'm gonna give her a good measure. We get a sticker here. Uh, <laughs> 28 millimeters. Oof. 28 millimeters. This is one of the thinnest ones I think we've ever done. 20, oh, this, this is definitely super thin. Oh, it's auto extra. It's like, yeah. Okay. I still think Pure Leader makes these. Does anybody know? Does anybody, uh, does anybody actually know? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. I'll well, just check this. Well, that's not too bad. Well, it's coming back. Well, any way I do it, she comes back. So the bypass valve works very well. Oh, so where was I here? I got called away here for 10 minutes. Mm, well, let's just start over here. Uh, yeah, I, oh yeah, last thing I did was check the uh, bypass. And it seemed to work pretty good. Uh, this pretty well does look like maybe a uh, purulator of sorts. Um, definitely looks kind of purulator-ish. It's got the glued strip here instead of a, a steel strip in there. But it purulator uses these types of uh, bypasses here and kind of... So I'm thinking, and it's got lovers. It's a lover design inside. That is a pure leader Wix design now. So I'm thinking, yeah, probably a pure leader make. But um, there was something, there was a point here I was going to make. Let me think about it. Well, I can't remember what the point is I was going to make, but it has 54 pleats on it. And maybe I was going to say something like, uh, this looks sloppy. It does look sloppy, and I'm thinking maybe I was thinking like a lot of purulator stuff that's in the lower end is sloppy looking also. So maybe that's what I was thinking. But it's been a while. I had, had uh, too much time in between, and my brain shut off. So I'm thinking I was going to say sloppy, and yeah, it looks like a purulator Wix design because a lot of their lower end filters... Uh, got this look to them now, which is not great. Not great, because I know Pure Later can do better. They have some nice filters, and so does Wix, you know. But let me cut the uh, uh, filtration off, and we'll get a good look at that. So we're here with another one of those design traits of not much actual filtration. But um, the big tube, which also leaves them to be able to use less filtration in the filters. So, I, I, I just marvel at that nowadays where they make the tube really big and it makes it look like it's a good size filter and that you're getting lots of filtration, but you cut them open. The tube is a lot bigger in the newer types of filters these days. So you get a lot less filtration in the filter and I think that's kind of a thing that they kind of do now um I did weigh this right it's been a while so and um, we do have the lovers which I louvers whatever you call it I call it lovers louvers whatever comes to my uh mouth at that point but we I do notice that this filtration is very skinny uh type of filtration which is pretty well uh, cellulose totally cellulose and it is very light this well, it's not as light as it could be but it's not very heavy 21.6 grams and uh, these see how these have no problem with their glue held together very nicely there by the way I had to exert a lot of pressure there to actually get it to come apart so that's not that bad but um very skinny very very 
skinny filtration. It looks, I've, I've done much bigger, like the last man one I did. And the filtration was a lot thicker, a lot more robust. Hey, new word, robust. That, uh, this stuff uh, it comes apart pretty easy. It rips pretty easy. Imagine if you leave these things in a little too long in your uh, engine, they will rip open. But this is just for standard oil changes, by the way. Please do not use these over the recommended of... Uh, I would say anywhere between three to 4,000 mile in probably, I don't know, 5,000 to 6,000 kilometers. And believe me, if you're gonna take these off, try to take them off close to the, the base. Get that filter wrench on there close to the base. And you're just gonna twist this thing right off. It's, it's pretty thin. I'm shocked at how thin it is. But uh, I was going to measure this out, but I noticed that, oh, what? I will. I'll measure it out. We'll see how much we got there. I don't think it's going to be spectacular since uh, we, we have these very short uh, filtration uh, pleats here. So I'll measure it out for you. So I believe we got one of the shortest filters here I think we've ever done on the show show channel I'll go with channel this isn't a show but it's 43 inches just shy of 43 inches though and 90 centimeters long that is so short this is insane how short this is and three and a half inches wide by nine centimeters like there is just uh not a whole lot of filtration here as I can see like it probably will do a standard job but wow how did they how did they do this like they put the least amount of filtration in this filter as they could and this big tube here is ridiculous and I remember when you used to buy these filters and the tube was only as big as the opening here and, and you had a ton of filtration in these things well, those days are well gone. Uh, they're, they're long gone. I don't know too many filter manufacturers who don't use a bigger tube anymore. And that's just to save money for sure. Because sure, filtration costs more than these stamped uh, steel tubes. So that's kind of crazy. <laughs> but uh, I'd probably steer clear of this Auto Extra. Uh, or at least the this, this type, the 3600. Uh, kind of like type this would be like fitting jeeps and uh, like fit my sister's liberty of the 3.7 kind of glad i didn't put this on her vehicle and kind of now glad i did open it up and take a look at it because wow it's just not that good wow gotta be one of the worst filters i think i've actually looked at one of the worst i'm not saying it's the worst but it's one of the worst I've looked at. And I'm going to have to look through and go through and find out my uh, five worst oil filters, in my opinion, that I've actually looked at. Maybe I'll do a video on that coming up in the future. But I had this one. I had a mobile, mobile one, uh, a Denso, and a something else that I was going to do. And I was like, man, I haven't done an auto extra in a while. So I decided to do an, uh, this auto extra. And I'm kind of glad I did because now I see how truly bad this filter is. And uh, I'm not seeing all of them. All the auto extras are like this because they probably aren't. Because some of them are probably, uh, I, I know they probably use a whole bunch of different suppliers. So you could buy one of these with a, a be a 3600 and be a totally different filter so i'm not uh, saying that i'm just saying this specific one is not one i would want to put in a vehicle well that'll do it for now uh, thanks for watching uh hopefully you enjoyed this if you did subscribe and if you're already subscribed thank you very much so uh, yeah thanks for watching